Hey guys, I'm Wilson. And I'm Kelly. And we, we are, are on, on the Mew. We got a new place we're coming to you uh, from here. We're, we're in Troy, Montana. Yeah. Actually, right now we're between Troy and Libby, and uh, we just had a cool experience. We're coming down to visit uh, Kootenai Falls, mm -hmm. and as we were crossing the railroad bridge, we were able to stand right above a train, and that, that was, was scary. That was pretty cool. Uh, the engineer blew his whistle, and um, his train horn, that was pretty cool, because yeah, cool. he wasn't blowing it for a road, he was just blowing it for us Say, as we hey, were standing no, there it. waving. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was neat. the wind off of it it was moving fast uh -huh. wasn't it? <laughs> yeah so, it was long. let's go to the swinging bridge first well let's check out the falls no, and then we'll go to the bridge <laughs> let's go see the falls first okay. yeah okay just wants to go to the bridge. he wants to go to the bridge we'll get to the bridge in a minute so we're at Kootenai Falls and the suspension bridge or they call it the swinging bridge so um, this is one of the famous spots here that little local tip is to, become, uh, to come before 10 o'clock in the morning or after 5 in the afternoon. Because if not, everybody and their brother stops by as they're riding down the road. So, we, yeah, we came through about 1 o'clock today. And it was packed. It was just absolutely packed. No people, parking spaces anywhere. Yeah, people so, down the road park. So. We'll do our normal thing. So we're out at like 8.30 in the <laughs> evening. There were three cars, I think, yep. in the parking mm -hmm. lot. And so we've got the place to ourselves, which is really cool. It's a little local tip there for you.
falls aren't like super tall, you know? Yeah. But they're really wide and they're powerful. powerful. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that was pretty neat to see. Now we're going to go see it from a little different perspective from the bridge over here. See what it looks like. And I think there's a little bit more, it's kind of more of a drop. I guess it's not a fall, but more of the rapids mm -hmm. down on this side. It's a short trail. What is it? 0 0.9? Total, yeah. 0.9 total. Um, it is kind of steep going back up. And you Rocky. do want to, yeah, you want to wear some good shoes if you do hike this one because there's a lot of shale on that side where the falls are and it's pretty loose. Yeah. Um, over here on the suspension bridge part, it's not quite like it was there so far. <laughs> I think it's a little better shape over here. Highlight the bridge, Mom. Yeah. Yeah, this is really cool. Very cool. We'll take it. A little what? Second bridge. Yeah, it is. It's a lot bigger. This one is much bigger than the one in Glacier that we saw. Really cool, right across the <laughs> river here. Wow. We got the hatch of bugs all around us. Look at all the caddisflies. It's so scary. Is it scary? If we fell, I think we would survive. As long as the water is deep enough, we can. Yeah, I'm not sure how deep it is. There's a lot of rocks down there. Yeah. See all that white? That means there's rocks under there. Is the No? No. Huh? Y'all stomachs are going flippy flippy? Not mine. That was scary. It was very scary. scary. I mean, not really. It wasn't scary, it was scary. but I mean, it's like, it was fun. It's fun it was scary. fun but scary. Like the train. And fun like, but scary. Yeah. 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 And like, it wasn't really scary. It high up. You just, it was scary. Just kind of weird, right? The suspension bridge is always a little bit different. Yeah. Sure. All right, checking out another view here. Ah, oh, there she is. Right, I might end up in a YouTube video. I don't care. You don't care? Man, these are some massive bolts that hold it in. Yeah. Because if you walk into the fun house, this will call it a carnival fun house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go for it. Okay. I'll have a walk around Crossway too. I'm going to see what 
think any wildlife's ever gotten on the bridge? I bet so. I bet they have. Yep. I just remember Indiana Jones trying to go across something like this. And it breaks, and then you got to grab the boards. Climb up. Don't fall. Yeah. What do you think? Well, that was a unique experience, that's for sure. Yeah, it was unique. I thought it was mm -hmm. really neat to do. Yep. It's not every day we get to do a huge suspension bridge. Right. And I. Cool experience. Yeah, I remember doing the one up at Grandfather Mountain up in North Carolina as a kid. Yeah. And I, it's it's big claim to fame is it's the mile high bridge because it's at a mile high in elevation, not because the bridge is a mile high. Yeah. But that was the first swinging bridge I ever did as a kid. And it was a little scary. <laughs> you know, swinging bridges yeah. are just interesting. So. It's a lot of trust in those cables, don't we? Yeah, you do. <laughs> so I was just hoping that scene from Indiana Jones didn't happen, right? right. Yeah. Hey, how are y'all? What's up, guys? What's going on? Yeah, I didn't want to be hanging on to any kind of boards up there like old Indiana did. Nope. And trying to make my way up before. Because <laughs> I would be gone. Death to the crocodiles <laughs> if I remember the scene. So. Yeah, that sounds like that right. Well, that was fun. This is worth a stop if you're in this area, the far northwest corner. Of Montana, not a lot of people here. I think this is like a little hidden gem in Montana. I think so too. Troy is kind of a neat little town, and we came through Libby. We're gonna have to go back and explore Libby just yeah. a little bit more. Yeah. Um, we'll check it out. And there's a lot to do in the area. A lot of good fishing in the area too. So if you're into fly fishing, you might enjoy it, or any kind of fishing really. A lot of bass fishing. Yeah, some lakes that have bass. In. Even salmon, some type of salmon. Yep, and kayaking, a lot of kayaking here too. Yep, good for the outdoors. Yep, <laughs> perfect time too. It's getting kind of dusk and we've had the place to ourselves. We saw one group of people here on the trail with us, um, but we had the bridge to ourselves, which was really nice. Yep. <laughs> I don't know what we're witnessing, but it's pure insanity. I know that. Maddie, I don't know why you're laughing, because you were doing it while ago, too. Are you calling Bigfoot? Here, Sasquatch.
we just finished up our nice little hike there to the Kootenai Falls and the bridge. That was really cool. Well worth a little stop here and there's a place for you to get some snacks and souvenirs picnic. if you want to. Mm -hmm. Yep. Got a little picnic area. Yeah. Sit and enjoy the beautiful scenery. We recommend it highly. Yeah. All right guys, we'll see you guys next time out, out on, on the, the Mute. Mute.